Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number 12. I think it's episode number 12 of our Pokemon Platinum Hardcore Randomized Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we did manage to secure our fourth gym badge here in Veilstone City, which means we're going to be continuing on to Route 214 in today's episode. Uh, now, we are going to be heading for the next city, which I think is Pastoria, Pastora. I'm, I'm not sure which it is, uh, but we will figure that out. I do want to see also uh, one thing that we probably should should pick up, uh, if we can, at least, uh, is some Pokeballs. Uh, so let's maybe head, I think this is the department store, yes. All right, so let's head in here and let's see what we can get because we of course do have some encounters that we will be able to pick up in today's episode, which I'm really excited about. So uh, let's see, do we have Pokeballs already? We already have 20 Ultra Balls. All right, you know what? We are good. Let's head for it. Let's see what we can get, guys. Uh, we've got a lot of really cool areas uh, coming up for hopefully some new encounters. And uh, honestly, our team's looking pretty good. We've actually picked up some really nice encounters and things like Sceptile, Rayquaza, some really good stuff. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what we can uh, what we can do in this one. Um, cool. Uh, we did also pick up the HM for Fly. Uh, not that I'm super excited to use it, but um, we we do have that as well at some point. Uh, let's just let's go with it. Fight this guy. Uh, there. I don't know how long this route is. We'll see how far we get in today's episode. I don't think this one's all that long, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, Pastoria City is actually where we're headed after this. So there is Jigglypuff. So cute. Um, I am really excited for the next gym solely because uh, we actually get to evolve some of our Pokemon, or at least one of our Pokemon. Uh, our little chicken um, actually evolves to level 36, and the level cap is 37, which means we should be able to get just under that, which is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, we are gonna definitely just swap out here. Um, guys, in the last episode, I spent a lot of time thanking you guys for, uh, for being awesome, basically. Uh, and I just want to say it again. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I really do. It means a lot to me. We're, we're growing. We are doing a lot of cool stuff lately, it feels like. And, uh, we are building the website as well, luckyporygon.com. If you haven't checked it out, I really appreciate it. Um, I do want to make some, some other supportive things. Uh, like, I thought about a Patreon. Um, and some other stuff like that to, to help support the channel. Uh, really, the biggest, I, I won't even say issue, because I wouldn't call it an issue, um, but I think the hardest part is just spending the time on this and then, of course, knowing that, you know, I, at the moment, uh, which I'm okay with, but at the moment, obviously it is just for free, and that's fine. Um, I'm not... I'm spending money on the channel. I'm not making money on the channel. Uh, and that's totally fine. I don't need to. But uh, it would be nice to be able to, like, be able to get a little bit further along uh, in that capacity. Um, just because, you know, it is a there's there's time that goes into this. Uh, and so to be able to make it, uh, you know, a money making thing, I think would be beneficial. OK, this thing is like kind of wrecking. Um, I'm just gonna go sand or uh, yeah, Sandman here, I guess. I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, the fact that this dude just has a casual dark eye is kind of ridiculous. Plus, water pulse. Let's see how much that does. Quick attack shouldn't do very much. Yeah, uh, we are bulky as crap, so that's helpful. Um, and water pulse does a decent amount. We should be able to take this out, no problem. Oh, gosh, so annoying. Disable is such an annoying move. Um, I also want to run a potential series idea by you guys. I thought it would be really funny. I like the only problem with it is, uh, well, we'll we'll talk about that as we go. I think I, I had the idea of doing randomized teams and then trying to take it on like the actual ladder, <laughs> um, like VGC style ladder. Uh, which I think is a terrible idea, but I also think it'd be really entertaining and it'd give us a chance to like learn that side of things because truthfully that's not an area that I know much about at all. Uh, and so part of me was like, oh, that's a really fun idea. And then the other part of me is like, yes, but I'm basically just going to lose every game, <laughs> which is absolutely the case. No doubt um, I would do that. Oh, this is our encounter, by the way. Agorbis isn't bad. It's another water type for us, and we've got a lot of water types, so that does 
it's not great um but you know it is what it is uh but i thought that'd be kind of fun slash funny um but i feel like it'd be a lot better if i had another content creator to like also do the randomized thing and then like a then we fight like if you've watched shady or you know united gamer or any of that group um i really like the way they do things and i know it's a little gimmicky but it is also really fun uh and to be able to kind of randomly select them makes it really exciting in my opinion so just something to think about uh i think it'd be really fun but we'll we'll see all right uh let's see if we can catch this thing um i do actually really like gorbis to be clear it's just because it's another water type it's a little underwhelming but that's not gorbis's fault <laughs> uh not even a shake huh <laughs> we will see uh we'll get one more before we try for another attack uh i do have a name picked out There we go, we got it. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to name this after the Kool-Aid117, uh, who commented a few days ago on our yellow Nuzlocke, uh, which by the time this goes out will hopefully be done. But uh, we obviously lost that run twice in a row, uh, which felt terrible. Uh, and uh, he suggested he or she, I apologize, I don't mean to assume because I don't know. Uh, but they uh, suggested that we make it a bit easier on the money end as well as like which pokemon we can catch uh i i meant or, or i did say back like hey as much as i appreciate that we uh we don't make things easier here uh unless it's like really really challenging which pokemon grueling gold is one of those examples uh but we we tend not to do that so i was gonna go back and heal up but i kind of just don't want to um i do kind of want to avoid some trainers if we can Just because, like, I don't want to spend all my time around these trainers. Ooh. Wow. That was amazing. Um. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're amazing. All right, let's head up here and grab this item. Uh, there might be another encounter here in the tunnel. I think we can get to the tunnel. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll we'll see. Uh, it's like way up there. We'll we'll see if we can make it. Um, a max potion. Hey, guess what? We actually didn't pick up because we can't pick them up. <laughs> That's one of the annoying features of this uh, little rare candy bug. Can we avoid the trick? Oh, why did I? That was dumb. I literally was like, oh, we looked. Go. <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> it's all good. All right. An Anorith. What a cool little one. Uh, we never get to see the Anorith line, I feel like. Uh, and it's such a cool line, I think. It's a really cool Pokemon. Do, 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 do. I honestly don't know if Bubble Beam is the better move. Uh, I type effectiveness, man. I don't know the typing of Anorith. Isn't that sad? Like, of all. Yep, there we go. Should have done that. Should have known. I mean, it's fine. It didn't matter, but it's also annoying. Did we already get a Maniac? This That's what I want to know, is if we already got a tunnel encounter early on. And to be honest, I just don't remember. We're gonna head this way. Let's speed up a little bit too, because we we aren't gonna battle these guys. Imagine we find a shiny. Do you guys remember when we found a shiny in Pokemon Crystal? That was cool. Uh, the shiny Kingler. It was a full odds shiny Kingler. Like, not to mention like it was a shiny, obviously. But I also really just love Kingler. I think it's a really cool one. We could have done that the whole time. All right, well, that's fine. Hey, look, an item. Slash, okay, that's cool. Um, okay. Oh, here's our encounter. Let's see what it ends up being. 
A Flaffy, dude. Flaffy is really good. Well, and Frost is really good. Uh, yeah, easy pick up here. Oh, we can't Thunder Wave it, can we? It has Volts Absorb. That's cool. That's really cool. All right. Uh, let's try for a Bubble Beam. I'm a little worried. Yeah, we got a crit too. That kind of sucks. All right, good for you. All right, let's head out uh, and make our way south. Again, kind of avoiding a lot here. Uh, mostly because we are doing the rare candy thing. I feel like there's not a huge need, but let's, you know, we'll battle this guy. Why not? <laughs> um, and I also just kind of want to make some good progress in today's episode. I feel like the last two have been mainly focused on Veilstone City, so it's nice to be able to, you know, fly ahead a little bit if we can. Um, thankfully, Kennedy is a monster. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, we got lucky on that. Uh, thank goodness Spark hits physical. That was really lucky, actually. Uh, okay, cool. Nice. Guys, we're amazing. Uh, is there an item over there? It doesn't look like it. Oh, there totally is. Well, why is there also a break here? All right. Oh, this is Valor Lakefront. Uh, so this is a new area for us. Sick. Let's do it. Let's find an encounter. Uh, a Heracross. That's different. I don't normally see a Heracross, uh, but I'm actually really happy about that. That's a cool Mon. Uh, and it's level 27, which is like pretty reasonable right now. Yeah, I'm super into this. That's really cool. It does have counter. Uh, let's bubble beam. Let's be safe. It's not going to have mirror coat. Uh, that I can remember, at least. Yeah, there's the counter. Perfect. All right, so we're just going to bubble beam up. Hopefully get not a crit. <laughs> and then we'll do our best to catch this thing. There's a brick break. That's cool. Uh, we do need to... Whoa! Holy crap, that did a lot. Um, I'm going to swap into Tinkerbell here. I know the bug type is super effective, but I actually don't know if it gets a bug type move yet. Um, I think it doesn't have one, but I might be wrong. This is a really strong Pokemon. <laughs> All right, uh, there we go. Can we catch this thing? <laughs> we got this. We got this. Oh no! All right. We still. Can we get it? Yes! Awesome. We caught it. That's huge. That's really, really good. Bug and fighting type. What a cool typing. Uh, that might be like this is a good mod, actually. We're gonna name this after uh, Danny, who actually commented on our the the first episode of the Grueling Gold playthrough. Uh, who just said their favorite two Pokemon are Gliscor and Venusaur. Two amazing options, frankly. Uh, and so I, uh, I did say on that series that we try and, and get a, uh, a, an encounter named after him. But for now, let's, let's do this. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, I have no clue. The road's closed for now. Okay. That's fine. So this is Route 213. I guess this is just where we're to go. I kind of want to see... Because I think you can go to the left over here. Oh, TM92. All right, that's cool. Let's see what TM92 actually is. Did it change? Calm Mind. Yo, that's really solid, actually. Uh, that's like... The TMs in this run have been surprisingly strong, I will say. Uh, that's not usually the case, so very happy to see that. I think we can also rock slide down there. Let's see. Uh, can we actually get down there, I guess is a better question. Yeah. Maybe we can't? Who knows rock slide? Is it you? Oh well. All right, uh, so my question is, can we go this direction? I know we need to go south, but I I'm just curious. 
So this is Route 213. That's an item. I'll take that. Power anklet? Me. Let's just see what's over here really quickly. I have no clue what this is. Let's see. I would love a Pokemon Center, to be honest. Can I heal? No. I can just lay in the bed. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I guess we just uh, head south here, guys, to Route 213, which does mean another encounter, which is nice. Alright, uh, Route 213. I think that's money. That is money, people. I'm into it. So I actually don't think we have to get a water encounter. I think we can get an encounter to the uh, left here. So we'll see. And then really, Pastoria City is like right here, actually. That's cool. All right. Excellent. Be bass. Uh, we've led Kennedy a lot here. We may want to swap that up a little bit. Um, I can't imagine this thing has any good moves, so I'm not stressed about that. All right, cool. Uh, do do. Let's give. Let's throw a uh, Beas out front here. I do really like Beas. Such a good mon. Would love to keep that one around. All right. Again, avoiding quite a few trainers here, just for the sake of not really needing to fight them. Uh, is this? Alright, that was that was really nice. Thanks, bud. Um, <laughs> Alright. I do want to see if we can get this item here. Alright, let's battle him. Uh, our team is looking a little, like, just damage. Uh, so I just want to be somewhat safe, of course. But, I, I mean, I think we'll be fine. Uh, and there is, of course, a Pokemon Center, like, right, right to the left here. Let's just... Oh, we should have Wing Attack used wing attack. That would have been a much better move. Oh, well, doesn't matter. We're just amazing. Uh, excellent job. That was so good. All right, so let's go rock smash you and grab this. Another Calm Mind TM. All right, I will happily take it. And there is some grass up here, which is excellent. Uh, we don't have any healing at all, right? No. Uh, do we have... We have citrus berries. <laughs> uh, I feel like we should hold on to the citrus berry. <laughs> Seems like a really good thing to uh, just have, you know? I don't love this idea. This might be a terrible idea. Maybe we can avoid an encounter. Did! Alright, so we can go heal up and then come back. I think that's better. Because uh, I do not want to just straight up lose here. Uh, and I think there's another gym here, which is kind of crazy. We're already at the next gym. What is this? Oh, the Great Marsh. All right. Uh, let's head to the Pokemon Center. Let's heal up. And then we'll go back and grab that encounter. Lots of actual progress today. That feels great. Um, we do need to teach Fly to something, by the way. Like, at some point, I think that would be probably pretty helpful. Uh, I don't think we need to right this second, but... Oh. Hey. Cool. <laughs> what? Alright. Not not overly concerned about Abra, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm just gonna spark it. Should be fine. Probably a pretty easy KO. Boom. Uh, I've also mentioned, guys, in previous series uh, that... I've been reading through all of the Harry Potter books for the first time in years. Oh, okay. Um, which feels really fun and like nostalgic in a way. Uh, it's also, they're just, I, I really enjoy the books. Uh, obviously they're not necessarily for everybody, but I think they're great. Uh, and so I'm on the fifth one right now and loving it. Uh, it's been an absolute blast reading through it. And I, uh, like I said, it's been nostalgic. My dad actually, uh, who's not the biggest like reader, like, he has certain magazines and stuff like that that he would always read, but in general, he wasn't, like, a big reader. Um, he loves those books. And so when I was a little kid, I, they were, you know, kind of sequencing their way out, and um, my my dad and I would read them uh, before bed, which I just thought was a nice little bonding experience. Uh, but I also just love the books. Here's our encounter. 
Venom! Why is it we always find a Toxic Rogue? <laughs> what is this? I mean, I like Toxic Rogue, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just kind of funny. Wow, prevents Paras. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go into Whitney here and D-Rage. It will easily take at least one. Ah, oh, goodness. Um. Do, 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 do. This music, man, it's so good. Uh, probably can't take two. Will revenge kill me? I didn't think about revenge. Crap! That's really bad. Um. Ah, that's terrible. Crap, why did I... I didn't think about revenge. I should've... Gosh darn it. I'm so pissed. I can't believe we just lost Gabite. And it's not even, like, this isn't worth it. You know what I mean? This is not worth it. Um, I mean, it's a good mon. It's not a great mon. And it's also really annoying. Which, again, is a reason it's a good mon to get, but it's just like... Dude, stop swaggering. Why do you swagger twice in a row? That makes no sense. I mean... I'm just gonna magical leaf. I hit myself, I hit myself. Of course. Of course. Oh, great. All right, we are out. We are not catching this. Uh, I do not care. This thing is really annoying. <laughs> We're missing, we're skipping the encounter. Sorry guys, but that was actually really obnoxious. Uh, let's take the item. Whoops, not give, come on. Uh, we might need to swap up the team a little bit now that our dragon type is gone. Um, and we've got Rayquaza in the back, to be clear. Keeping in mind guys, I only allow one legendary slash mythical, uh, just to be clear, on the team at a time. So if we do swap in Rayquaza, that does mean we have to put Celebi in the box, which I'm actually like reasonably okay with. Um, but it just means we're going to have to party swap around a little bit. All right. As you know, we actually release Pokemon here because it makes it that much harder. So Whitney, thank you so much. Goodbye forever. You sad, sad man, uh, woman, man, woman. Um, all right, so that leads us to considering options, uh, which it might be that we swap some things out here. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything we can do before the gym. Uh, Great Marsh says many. OK, so there is the Great Marsh. Let's go see what we can find there before we add anything to the squad. I just want to see. Um, you know, if there's other Pokemon we can get, that's all. Uh, because I do, I mean, obviously we can get one in the city itself, so maybe that's a move. Let's see. Uh, so down this way. Some berries. Let's pick the berries really quick. Um, and then I think to the north, that is that great marsh. I didn't know if that was like Team Galactic area because there was a dude just chilling there. Maybe I'm wrong, uh, but we'll see. All right. Um, do we have a good rod? No. Oh, yes, we do. Not what I meant. Uh, register that. Cool. Awesome. Let's see what we can catch here real quick, guys. If anything. Oh yeah, we got something. Awesome. All right, so this is our Pastoria City encounter. Let's see what it's going to be. A coughing. Uh, actually not mad at a coughing. I think just as like a wall, this thing is solid. So uh, yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Happily take it. If we can catch it, of course. Um, I'm trying to think if we can use a move against it. I don't think we can. I'm also a little worried about self-destruct. Um, I don't know if it has it yet. I feel like it doesn't, but I'm not positive, so I just want to be safe. We're just going to try for it. 
cool. Got it. Excellent. Uh, so we are going to name this after FLBoy589, uh, who commented on the yellow Nuzlocke as well, the shorts Nuzlocke, and just said, definitely isn't a real yellow version. Which version is this? A hack or something? Question mark. And he, it's not a hack. Uh, I did respond to you. Uh, no, it's not a hack. It is just a randomized version of the game, uh, which does make it really, really fun if I may say so. Um, now, this is going in our party at the moment. It is not actually on the squad, so no layout changes quite yet. Uh, airlock eliminates weather effects. Okay. One thing I do need to maybe consider is leveling up everything in between episodes. And the only reason I say that, um, obviously, like, if something evolves, it's going to have a very different ability, and, like, that actually makes a big difference. Uh, yeah, I would love to try for this. Cool. All right, uh, let's see what we can get, if anything. We don't do only have one shot, uh, which kind of sucks. Let's see what we get. A Phoebus, another... We're just gonna throw a ball and see what happens. Another water type, I don't love that. I really love my Lodic. My Lodic is amazing. Um, a Phoebus obviously is less exciting, but we catch it. Uh, that was surprisingly easy. Um, who do we want to name this after? Uh, <laughs> I love it. We're gonna name this after Bobby Trillionaire, who just said, uh, Pokemon Yellow, classic Pokemon. Dude, no doubt. No doubt at all. Uh, let's name you Bobby. That's awesome. Uh, Bobby, thank you so much for, for watching. Really do appreciate it. You are a beautiful Phoebus. Uh, and by beautiful Phoebus, I mean hopefully a beautiful, uh, a beautiful uh, Milotic at some point. I do want to just check and see what kind of items we can find. feel like, why not? Oh, this is the marsh. Oh. Forgot about the marsh. So annoying. All right. Dude, Whiskash. I mean, we've already got Gastrodon for that typing, but that's a really... I actually low-key really like Whiskash. I think it's such a silly mod, but it's so good. So good. All right. I'm going to see if I can just head out. Uh, yes, I do. Thanks. I appreciate that. All right, cool. Uh, so with that, uh, let's just take a quick peek at our team. And I think we're probably going to end up like kind of finalizing teams in between episode because I do think the next thing is actually just the gym. Uh, and again, that's level 37 is the gym here. Uh, oh, we actually have a rival battle kicking off before the gym. That's crazy. All right, so I'm not going to make any final decisions quite yet. So just keep in mind, uh, any changes we make right this second are not necessarily going to count. But I do kind of just want to get a feel for what our team could be. Um, I do think Rayquaza needs like it's Rayquaza Sceptile, probably. Let's see, Rayquaza, Sceptile, I think definitely Kennedy needs to stick around. I would definitely want Beas. I think we get rid of Beaksters if we can. Um, and I really like Gastrodon, but is it playing a double role for us is my question. Because uh, we could get something like Heracross, which would be actually really cool. Uh, what was the ability on Heracross? Stench. Keep wild Pokemon away. Okay, this has Serene Grace. That's crazy. Um... Hustle, I uh, don't love that. Keen Eye. Snubble, I mean, honestly, a uh, a Gramble isn't a bad idea either. But you know what? For right now, guys, I'm going to save the game right here. We are going to take a peek in between episodes, get everything leveled up, get ready for the gym, as well as the rival battle, of course, of course, first and foremost. But uh, lots to do in the next episode. We made a lot of progress today. I'm really stoked about that. All the way to Pastoria City. Our fifth gym badge is right around the corner. That's absolutely insane. Uh, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave some love down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.